Hi, this is Paul from expertalgos.com and this is a auto trading tutorial. So I'm using the Ninja Trader platform here and the Expert Algos um, automated trading strategy. On the right is a performance report for RTY. So this is totally optimized now. Uh, and this is the one of the eight that we have available uh, for our auto trading strategies software. The one on the left is YM, still something I'm working on right now, but I wanted to concentrate on a couple of things on here um, to, to, to try and understand. And one of the main things I want to talk about is longest flat periods, uh, which we see down here on the, uh, on the YM average is 15.88 days on the RTY. 28 days so quite a little bit of difference there now when you're optimizing uh, futures trading strategies there's always a payoff um, with um, you know the, the total sort of average uh, net profit uh, compared to um, the profit factor and all those sort of things I'm doing lots of different tutorials on this but one of the things I want to talk to today is really about this longest flat period um, and the average profit per month. So one of the things we, we look at here is um, being patient. Sometimes when we are manually trading futures, we're very impatient in trying to take too many trades. and We're always trying to feed, find a reason to get in a trade. Um, the beauty of an automated trading strategy is that, that that need and that want to get in those trades is gone. Uh, that emotion is gone. But one of the things that people that actually use the auto traders is to um, be very, very patient. Uh, uh, an optimized strategy may have flat periods in that because the, uh, the, the criteria to take that long or that short is not present in the market. So it just doesn't take it. It follows the rules. So I'm going to look at the chart for the equity curve on the right hand side first for, um, for RTY. Okay, so we can see that the equity, equity curve is fantastic, you know, over $27,000 in the last two years, and it's going in the right direction. When I talk about flat periods, when I talk about is very sometimes no trades or very, very little trades. So the equity doesn't really change. And one of those biggest flattest periods on here, we and I'm going to annotate this now, is this period of time here. So we can see there was a little bit of trading activity. We've got some winners and losers. But in, in reality, when we look at that flat period, uh, the equity curve did not grow. It, it, it went flat. Again, we can see other, other ones here. And again, this is a flat period at this point here. So there are flat periods, but it's about being patient. When, when you're subscribing to our expert algos, you're subscribing every month. And sometimes, you know, we just, we've just seen with, um, with RTY, uh, the longest flat period we had on average was 28 days. So, you know, you may not get too many trades or increase in uh, account size during that period, but you have to offset that and be prepared because when we, when we get the big moves, they increase massively here to here is a, a really, really big move. The same criteria for these flat periods but it met the, uh, the strategy uh, requirements for entry the same, but it went. We got what we call a runner. So when we're optimizing these strategies, we have to understand uh, that patience uh, is key when these are operating. You need to understand and trust the data. Look at the equity curve. Look at that flat period as one of those things. And this is what we're talking about today. We often talk about profit factors and other things uh, during other tutorial sessions. But again, so now we look at, um, let's look at YM. This is something I'm working on at the moment. I'm still working on the, uh, the, the optimization for this. Now, remember the, the flat periods for this was 
um, a lot less. So we don't see so many flat periods, but we see uh, bigger drawdowns, bigger drawdown periods. So when I talk about drawdowns is that we get losing trades. Now, any automated strategy or any trading strategy, come to think of it, has losing trades in it. And again, uh, they're acceptable. But when we're looking at this sort of thing, we really need to understand that um, when we're trying to optimize this strategy, we have uh, you know, some very, very deep pullbacks here within this. These drawdowns are quite large, but on the counter side, we get some very, very long periods of run-ups, what I call run-ups here. We get some really, really steep run-ups. So when we're optimizing this strategy, I mean, I've got a profit factor of 1.74, which is excellent on this strategy. Now, the, 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 the overall net profit is around about half of the RTY, but they really get, uh, you know, despite those big drawdowns, there's very little flat periods here. Yes, there's more trades. Uh, and again, when I'm trying to, I'm trying to find the balance between uh, flat periods, trades, profit, and everything like that. But this, you know, at this stage, if I was to choose between the two, uh, I don't just look at, uh, yes, we've got a great $27,000 profit in over the last two years. Um, I can see the drawdowns periods are less steep. We do get one on the uh, RTY, which is quite long. Uh, this period down here is quite long. Um, we do get another one here. But other than that, you know, moving away from those drawdown periods, we get flat periods. So this strategy is better optimized for me because I'm going to make more money. But I know if I'm patient, those flat periods will uh, subside and I'll get good growth. Whereas when we're looking at YM, I've got to be prepared for those deep pullbacks, very little flat periods. So it's either winning or losing. Uh, so um, with this one, you know, is this fully optimized yet? No, because I'd rather have more flat periods and better growth rather than those deep drawdowns, because it's psychological, even though that um, that drawdown period we know will end and will, will, you know, overall that equity curve goes up. But psychologically for that person that's subscribing and has this auto trader running, when you get those deep drawdowns, that's very difficult. When we look at this drawdown here, we're looking at in 2021, you know, uh, middle of August, all the way down to this point here, which was middle of September, just over a month of what, maybe five or six weeks of drawdown. Psychologically, that's very, very difficult. So it's easier psychologically if we have these flat periods, because although we're not making a great deal of money, you can see that the equity curve is still remaining pretty flat and you, you, you can you understand the profit factor is fantastic. So when you're looking at all these different strategies, look at those flat periods, but don't be afraid of them. It's about being patient, understand that the drawdown periods um, are um, less in time, they're less intense. Uh, it's not as an aggressive strategy, but overall, because you are patient, it makes more money rather than the big ups and downs of this YM, which is not completely finished with the, the, um, the, the um, performance report shows me that I still need to do some work on optimization with this, but I'm very, very happy with the RTY. So hopefully that helps. Just a little dig into those strategy performance reports when we're looking at those flat periods just because something only has a flat period for 15 days like the the ym it doesn't mean it's a stronger strategy uh, you know 28 days for a flat period seems a long time but overall that overall growth is stronger so be prepared to look at that and again i'll just show you where those are again on that report let me clear all those away So longest flat period here, down there and down there. So again, you can see it's different for longs and shorts. 
uh, and overall the the average is this this column here where it says all trades so again don't be afraid if there are longer flat periods look at that overall net profit look at that profit factor compare it to the other ones now this helps you make the decision which of the three that you choose to put in? YM isn't available right now, the recording of this, because it's still not fully optimized. But don't be afraid of those long uh, flat periods. If overall we have a, a good total net profit, the profit factor's high. And um, you know, just, just be uh, prepared to be patient when you're running these auto strategies. Hopefully that helps. I'll be doing more of these training sessions.